Now, I saw this functional question on YouTube. I have my own way to do it, and uh, it looks better. Well, uh, so I share with you. Now, given that function f is from real number to real numbers, f of it continues, uh, differentiable. Then, uh, given that f of x times f of y is equal to f of a x plus y times uh, plus x y. We are looking for f of x. Now, uh, first, if x equal to 0, then f of a 0 times f of a y is equal to f of a y plus 0, right? Plus 0. Therefore, the f of f of a zero is a one. Okay, the first conclusion is this. Then, if uh, y is equal to x, then this will be f of x times f of x, right? F of x square is equal to f of a 2x plus x square, isn't it? Yeah. Now, this equation has only one variable, x. If we... Now, okay, I'll let... Uh, so, let uh, z be 2x. So this one will be f of x square is equal to f of a z uh, plus x square. If we differentiate this equation, both sides, with respect to x, then, well, we differentiate both sides with respect to x. This will be 2 f of x times d f of x dx, right? the chain rule. This one will be equal to d f dz, times the dz dx, or dz dx, plus 2x. dz dx is 2, isn't it? So this means that uh, 2 f of x, df dx, is equal to <coughs> 2 df dz plus 2x. 2, 2, 2, 2, cancel out. Therefore, f of x, df of x, dx is equal to. <clears throat> now, df dz and, well, Uh, f of x and f of a z. If the derivative df dx is the derivative of f with respect to z, this is a, the derivative of f with respect to z. Well, z and x just variable, right? It could be the same thing. Now I just let I let the uh, df dx is equal to df dz. Well, df dx is equal to df dz. It looks that 
it's okay. So, but I still put a question mark here. Well, if I just leave a question mark here, but I just continue. Then this two 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 cancel out, right? This is a df dx plus x. Well, suppose they are equal with a question mark. Then the then the f dx is equal to x over uh, f of x minus one, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Good. Now then, this this is the derivative of f with respect to x. This means what? This means the derivative of f with respect to x at x equal to zero. So clearly that this side has to take a limit x approaches to zero and uh, x f of x minus one. What I I think you can follow. This is the derivative at x when x equal to zero. This I take this x is zero, right? But when x equal to zero, this is a one. So one minus one is zero. So it's, it's a zero over zero. Therefore, I'm taking limit. Is, uh, I cannot take a direct value here. Yeah? Then this is this is zero over zero because f of zero is a one. <clears throat> then I take L'Hopital's rule, right? L'Hopital this is one. This this is zero, right? This is f of a zero. Which means, which means uh, f derivative at a zero square is equal to one. Well, then it means that the derivative at a zero is equal to positive or negative one. Well. Uh, <laughs> it means that uh, f of x is equal to plus or minus x, right? Plus c. Yeah, then uh, f of 0 is a 1. f of 0 is a 1, therefore c equal to 1. f of a 0 is equal to zero plus c is equal to one. That is uh, this one, therefore c equal to one. Therefore, f of x, f of x is equal to plus or minus x equal to one, plus one. So that is my answer. Then, then I just verify, I just verify, uh, well, do I have a room to verify? Verify. When, when, when x equal to, when, I, when I take, x plus 1, okay. then uh, the left-hand side, the left-hand side, the left-hand side of this equation, 
left-hand side is uh, f of x times f of y is uh, x plus 1 times y plus 1, huh? which is x1 plus x plus y plus 1. Uh, no pain. Okay, the right hand side. The right hand side is this. It is uh, f of x plus y plus x y. So it's equal to x plus y plus 1. Okay, according to this one. Okay. And plus x, y. So this one is equal to x plus y plus 1 plus x, y. Yeah, they are equal. See? Then it's, it's okay. Now, when we take negative x plus 1, because it has uh, two possibilities, I've taken negative x plus 1, then the left-hand side is equal to f of x plus times f of y. This is equal to negative x plus 1 times negative y plus 1 is equal to x, y, minus x minus y plus 1. Okay, that's the left-hand side. The right-hand side is equal to f of x plus y plus x, y. So this is equal to negative x plus y. plus x, y, right? And plus 1. Negative x plus plus 1. That is this. And uh, plus x, y. Is equal to negative x and negative y plus 1 plus x, y. Yeah. They are equal, see? That means it's true that f of x equal to plus or minus x equal to plus 1. This is satisfy the condition. So they are solutions. That means this is okay. This is okay. They are equal. Now what happens if uh, uh, in verification that they are not true? Then this one may have a question. Or, uh, well, then it it might search, it might search for other solutions. But in this particular case, uh, this is true. That means function is a linear. See, I hope I hope uh, I hope this one makes sense, and I hope you like it. Thank you.